Nigeria women are Ghana women. This view on our phone now. Mona listening to this our brother waiting in talk concerning women cultural identity. Mona just listening to her when they talk her. Identity. Nigerian women, East African women, women from Ghana, they have no cultural identity. And I'm going to explain to you what I mean. You see, I work in an industry which is information technology. In information technology, there is one country that really, really stands out when you talk about information technology, and it's India. Indians, for some weird reason, I don't know how they, they got into that thing in the historical, the cultural context. They, everybody maybe went in for IT. The whole country made a powerful reference to IT, just like China made a huge push into industrialization that deals with tools. The idea of having the tools to make a car or make a, 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 a shoe, heavy industrialization that they can use to serve the world. India went into this heavy thing about information technology. In my 12 years of working in information technology, everywhere I go, it's loaded with Indians. It's all, if the information technology, for example, um, if a place has maybe 20,000 workers, I'm talking about a huge place in which maybe 10,000 of their workers are engineers, software engineers, computer engineers, so on and so forth. I can assure you that of the 10,000, 9,500 will be Indians. So what has been my exposure there? Indian women. They're the one, you have, they're four feet, some of them little four feet, four feet, you know, things, small things that are making dream money. They came direct from their village into the system and they're making 180,000, 190,000, 200,000 dream money. But there's a strange thing I notice about them. As they come to work, they're wearing that they're native wear that thing that they tie and hang on their neck with that dot here another strange thing i've noticed about them is you will never ever for all my years i stayed in the united states i was born here in all my years of staying here you'll never hear the indian women dragging their men to the american court system for divorce it is our women that use the american court system to destroy our men they bring the court in to help them destroy the men you will never hear indian women doing that thing you will never hear women from china taking chinese men into the american court system to destroy them with divorce you will never hear women from korea dragging their men in huge numbers into the american court system to destroy them but when it comes to african women east africa nigeria ghana when it comes to african women they just drag their men into the court system. One of the things that I've noticed in this system or in this problem is poverty. Bring these Indian women, they're making 150,000, 180,000. They don't drag their men into court. Plus, some like in most places, all the places I've ever worked in information technology, they'll have one car. Not that I'm supporting that behavior, but there's something strange on why I see them, they have one car. They will wait for their husbands. Even if their husbands are working two hours over time, over their time, they'll wait. Some of them pregnant, waiting for their husbands. When it's finished, they go into the same car with their husband and drive home. I watch Indian women and women from so many other places. They're not crazy about the Louis Vuitton, Gucci, all the designers wears. They're not even interested. Indian women, I meet them. They've been here 15 years, 20 years. They still keep their accent. They still speak as if they're living in India. But when I meet our women, and our women, all that they have to do is just get to a level of where they're making 50,000, 60,000, 70,000 or 80,000 a year. I'm talking about small money, it, small money. Immediately the marriage is in danger. And they change, they start bleaching and they start talking. Sure, sure, yeah, sure, 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 yeah, sure. Yeah, I went, oh my God, I went to New York. And I'm like, even I who was born here, I don't speak like that. I look at others like the Chinese, they can't speak English very well. You know, and their women may be driving very expensive cars that belong to their husbands. And I look at the Indian women who don't speak English very well, and they're not interested in changing their accent or their undertone. And they wear their native dress, that thing, and everything to work. I look at Korean women. I look at other women. They have this sense of cultural identity. African women do not have a sense of cultural identity whatsoever. Little money and the marriage is over one thing i've discovered a common trend once the women make they go nurse eighty thousand is all they need to make and suddenly your, your marriage is in danger they want to call the shots they want to be the ones that control everything and if you don't like it like that they'll bring in the american courts to destroy your life destroy everything around you they will insult you and i'm like eighty thousand is all that it takes for someone to change or seventy thousand because most of them even the eighty thousand is over time 
they've worked themselves sunday saturday saturday night sunday nights they've worked themselves to death that money that they make as overtime is what is now changing into something that they will destroy everything around them you know this the part that i see also is that a lot of and i re remember whenever i make my videos i refer to bitch ass men bitch ass men it has come to a point where we really can't define marriages in the african context anymore in the united states because the man is changing diapers he's washing the plates he's sweeping the floor he's um cooking most men now have to cook to keep their marriages intact um he's picking the kids and dropping them like in what like I, I like i've seen the experiences i don't need to go for i don't want to go to you know but the woman is shouting at them where's the child's belt where's the child's socks where's the child's everything and the women go around telling everybody we are partners he's not there's nothing like head of the household we are partners okay so the men are doing everything in the women's role and also doing everything in their role and they also keep their jobs and that is supposed to be the perfect if you don't do like that they'll call american court on you this partner thing i've tried i've seen people try it and it leads to disaster like he says okay so since i'm the one doing the laundry and washing the plates and cooking the food can you help me change that bulb no that's a man's job okay can you help me change the engine oil in the car no that's a man's job okay can you help me paint the other no it's a man's job they the women are quick to tell you what's a man's job but you must do your job and do their job now and do their job and keep your job also in the society and come back and still even there's no respect you are ha you are supposed to be submissive or the marriage ends on your head and when you look into it she started making eighty thousand dollars and i compare that with the indian women who make a hundred and fifty thousand a hundred and sixty